In this tutorial, we will see the difference between si and shi, which is a common difficulty amongst Cantonese speakers. Remember from the 46 basic sounds of Japanese we learned that for the combination of s and i, we pronounce it as shi instead of si. This is also the same for the combination of z and i. Instead of saying zi, we say ji. Originally, the si and zi sounds did not exist in Japanese. So, if you mispronounce shi as si, it sounds very strange to native Japanese speakers because si does not exist in Japanese. For example, watashi sounds odd as it's supposed to be watashi and rokuji as opposed to rokuji. To pronounce Japanese shi, set your mouth for the pronunciation of the vowel i. Then move your tongue upward to get it closer to the roof of your mouth. If you find the pronunciation of shi difficult, try ishi stone in Japanese. When you say the s sound, just raise the tongue body and make the hissing sound. Ishi. 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 In this video, we have learned that si doesn't exist in Japanese, always replaced with shi. We have also learned how to pronounce shi.